Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Halo Universe Blind Bags Series 2. Now, at the time of the recording of this video, this series is unreleased and unannounced. Mega has not even announced these yet, so hopefully I don't get in trouble for making videos about it because I'm making a lot of videos about it. But yeah, so these popped up on eBay about hmm, at the time of the recording of this video probably about a month and a half maybe less um popped up images first popped up and ever a lot of people thought it was fake the people that didn't think it was fake were super hyped a lot of people thought it was fake and there were like people debunking it and all that kind of stuff so i decided to buy them originally i thought it was 55 dollars for one pack and i always said no definitely not but then I found out it was actually 55 for 6 That's not a great price. But to bring you guys this content early, I decided to just go for it. Because I was so excited to look at this. Possibly the best blind bag series ever. So, here is the rarity chart. We have the Marine. Marine is a common. The EOD is a common. The Flood is a common. The Warrior is a rare. Uh... The Promethean Warrior is a rare, and the Grunt is an ultra rare. I think Mega did, like, this is perfection. What, like, everybody's going to want the EOD because EOD and the Xbox and the new color green. Everybody wants Marines, obviously, and everybody wants Flood. Not everybody wants the Warriors, the two Warriors. Um, and I'm not sure about the Grunt. The Grunt... I guess they were just like, we need an ultra rare, put the grunt. That makes sense. He is a suicide grunt, so I guess that's fine. Also, it's kind of interesting. We have like the Halo 2 and 3 stuff, and then the Halo 4 and 5 stuff, and then the Flood kind of fits in with the Halo 3 stuff. And I guess this guy this guy has the CE mask, so I'm not sure when he's supposed to fit in. But yeah, that that's a perfect lineup, I think, in my opinion. That's, that's a great way to do it. They all come with different stands. Uh, we get to see how to build the little Xbox on there put the grunt together how to put the flood together so let's jump in we'll start we'll like as usual we'll go according to the list here the rarity list we'll start with that marine so back when the elephant was announced there was a lot of excitement because the halo 3 marines were getting the removable helmet treatment and up until this point that was the only set that we knew of that would contain them obviously mega wasn't going to have that be the only set and we have quickly seen that the blind bags themselves will carry it. So originally a lot of people thought this was a female marine for some reason. I don't know why. I'm really glad that it's not. And before anybody goes to the comments, coming up with who knows what. Um, the male torso is way more versatile for making pop and swap customs. And you can even make female marines uh, with it. Just put a female head on there. Yes, the torso is a little thicker, but they're wearing armor. You can get away with that. The female torso itself just doesn't fit with many armors, and it's just weird. So I was really happy to see that this was a guy. I really like the skin tone they chose. This is a really nice skin tone. I think we might have gotten something similar in with the Infinite Marines. And the color, actually, where did I put him? It's the same kind of matte green as what we saw on the Haunted, which is pretty nice. I like that matte green a lot. The metallic green tended to be inconsistent, so I'm glad for the matte green. Uh, I'll, I'll do a comparison video between the new type of Halo 3 Marine and the old one. But for now, look at that. He's got a really nice face, really solid face. Uh, he can't look down because his chin bumps the armor. I'm not sure if Mega should have updated the chest plate mold for that or what. Uh, albeit, you know, this is a bigger... Heads, not all the heads have such prominent chins, but, you know, it's it's just a, a thing to be aware of. The helmet itself looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just brilliant. Um, I did want to compare this helmet with the Halo 4 helmet. We'll, we'll look at that in the comparison between the old versions of Marines and the new one. But visor print, let me look at it up close real quick. It's not perfect, but it is pretty solid. And then around the back, you can see not a ton has changed with the design. This guy has um, 
No gloves, which is a little odd. These guys usually wear gloves. And he comes armed with an AR. Then his legs have print, or his feet have print. That is ultra razor sharp print. Like, it's brilliant. And this is a blind bag figure, so getting extra print there at all is amazing. Um, yeah, I really like it. This guy, his overall look reminds me of the uh, Johnson from the Marauder. Maybe I'll drop him in in the comparison video. But yeah, brilliant figure. Next up is the one of the other commons, and the guy that elicited the most hype from the reveal of this series, the EOD. The EOD finally returns. I don't know why it took Mega so long. They've had this mold for a very long time. Uh, it came out with the Siege armor pack in a normal metallic green, and since then we haven't gotten any. It's been radio silence. People have been asking, Mega, did the mold break? And they were like, no, the mold didn't break. And everyone's like, where is the EODs then? So they have answered. And they have answered in the most, um, what's the right word? In the most spectacular way possible. So they brought back the EOD, which looks fantastic. It's the chest plate and the head. The head looks great. It's printed well. You can see the eyes down in the shadow there. It's got silver on the sides. They introduced a new color with this guy, this metallic green, which... Here is the lime green that we're used to, which the lime green is not metallic. People were, for some reason, people were saying this green, this new green looked more ugly than the lime green. Um, this new green is beautiful. It has just the right amount of shine. It's not too bright, but it's not too dark. It looks definitely like a multiplayer color. I really like it. I think it was a perfect choice. And then on top of that, Mega decided to do something that they have never done before and make a back bling. This is from the Master Chief collection. It's like a multiplayer thing. I don't know if you can wear it in the campaign. But basically, the Spartan is wearing an Xbox on his back, like a backpack. Now, in the pictures, it looked like this was going to be a new piece. Unfortunately, it is not. It is a 2x2 two two tile in black. You peg a stud stick thing into his back, and then you just plug it on there, like so. Um... While a new piece would have been really, really nice, I think that this is perfectly acceptable because, first of all, whoever thought that we were going to get a, a multiplayer back bling in a blind bag series, no less. Like, this is something that maybe we would see in the Halo Heroes figure, but not blind bags. So this was shocking to begin with, something that I don't think any of us expected. And the print is really sharp. You can read Xbox on there. So... I think the fact that it's not a new piece can be excused. Yeah, I know there were some of you out there who wanted to be able to paint the piece into like, um, you know, different colors or whatever, but this is just a tile, so you won't be able to do that. Um, and then the EOD himself has been updated with different forearms. This is the forearms that are used on the Mark 7s a lot. Uh, I think George maybe uses them as well. And then the thigh pieces are what Infinite Chief uses and uh, Fred uses and the Series 1 Chief, which is more accurate. And then he comes armed with a mauler, I believe this is what this is, in kind of this concrete color. It's a little bit of an odd color because it does look like concrete, but it is nice to see the return of this. Um, unfortunately, this guy has the wobbly hand. It's minor, but it's still there. Um, but I'll be able to fix that really easily. Oh, I forgot to point out, the Marine came with a tan base plate. This guy comes with a black base plate. And as I pointed out before, he is a common. The last of the commons is Flood. Not just one Flood. Six of these little popcorn boys. And on top of that, they are different colors. So we have two of each color. And this is the first time that Mega has ever done the new style Flood in different colors. They did... The old one in uh, a couple different colors but this new one this is a first so this one is the closest to our original color which i have one to show however i did weather it so keep that in mind kind of messes it up but you can see it was a lot lighter than any of these this is the lightest of the three so you have plenty of variation now for the colors um i don't know if i'll weather these guys or not uh, i might but we'll see the older ones definitely looked like the, the just flesh colored ones look better with weathering, but these different colors make them 
stand out a little more. So we have this kind of uh, gray tan, which is nice. And then we go to a more brown tan, which is nice. And then we go to this, which on the packaging looks like a kind of a, a darker brown. Although, no, I guess it's pretty close. It's more of a gray brown than anything, but it is darker. So you can, you know, if we just kind of swap them around a bit, it just makes them look, I keep hitting my camera. It makes them look more gross when they're just like crawling around on the ground. So I think this was a great, really, really great choice by Mego. Absolutely perfect. I, everybody loved the flood pack in the CE blind bag series. I don't remember what that was. If it was a, a rare or a common, I think it was a rare if I remember correctly. Um, but this time they made it a common. I'll show that again, a little green common so everybody will be able to army build flood as much as they want assuming that people can find the blind bags and buy as much as they want still perfect choice on mega's part really really happy to see some variation here they could have easily just thrown in the same original color and people would have been happy sure some people maybe would have been like oh it's just a repeat of the ce blind bags but people still would have bought it but this this is a next level move the next figure is a spartan warrior now, this is one of my favorite, like, Halo 4 and 5 armors. I think it just looks really, really good. It's very intimidating looking. It has a Halo feel, and it just, I don't know, it's just very well put together. It's not messy. You can see what you're looking at, and it just works. So I'm really happy to see it return. It's been a while since we got one, and I always had one complaint about it about the previous ones and that was the visors always kind of disappeared onto the figure and mega decided to do something great and they gave him a visor outline and it looks brilliant so what they did to do this outline is they just put down black first and then put gold on top of it just a little smaller and i think it was a it was a great result um the color is a pretty good color it's kind of a creamy tan with some speckling in it now, I wanted to compare it to Fireteam, a Fireteam Taurus figure. Oh, hang on. They're almost exactly the same. Yo, wait. Taurus just... Not Taurus. What am I saying? Rhino. I said Taurus before, too. No, this is Rhino. What am I... Rhino. Fireteam Rhino just got a new member. Hang on. Look at that. I thought it was going to be brighter. But no, it's exactly the same. The Rhino figures just have more speckling in them. Yo, that is cool. That makes this guy even better, in my opinion. Um, The only thing that I don't particularly love is the Railgun. I think that was an odd color choice. I think gray would have been fine. Uh, it's just, it blends in weird. And the, the detail, the lack of detail looks more weird on tan. Uh, so I don't really know about that. He comes with a gray stand. Like I said, all of them have different colors. The EOD had black, marine had tan. Obviously, the flood doesn't need a stand. Uh, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. I love this. And I know a lot of people, or maybe I shouldn't say a lot of people, a handful of people were saying that the warrior was the worst figure of the series, and they weren't really excited to get one. Uh, lucky for all of you guys who don't really prefer the warrior, he is a rare, so you won't be running into him super, uh, super often, which is really good for you know, for that exact reason. And I think Mega knew that the four and five designs wouldn't be as popular. So they put them into the rare side, which is great. And again, that visor outline is just beautiful. I'm so glad they decided to do it because on tan, the gold would have really disappeared, especially with that little thin visor. Our next rare is this Promethean warrior, Pr Promethean soldier. He comes armed with a bolt shot. It has a little peg for a knight, which again, as I've said about these weapons in the past, it's great that you can fit them on a knight, but it is annoying for posing. He comes with a neon like orange stand, which is great. Very Promethean. And then he's this kind of metallic blue gray. There's no print on the chest, which is kind of sad because a lot of the old guys had red detail on the chest. There's a little red detail on the side here. The knees are printed, which I don't believe we ever had before. And the mouth is printed this time around. So he has like a glowy, uh, glowy mouth, which makes him look more angry. It's a little odd, the color they chose, because I think it's slightly different than the eye color, or maybe the eye color is just inset more. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of an odd choice for the, the mouth 
And then there's some extra print up here, which I have no idea why it's here. It's just, it just is. I'm trying to look at the, the pictures don't really show it. I wonder if that's a mistake. If that is, that's a very perfect looking mistake. Um, as usual, we have the little glowy arm joints. So it looks like his arms are floating on that energy. His hands are the same color as his arms. The molds look all sharp and crisp. And he also doesn't have any waist articulation because that's just how the Prometheans are. Looks really good. I'm glad to have more Prometheans. I'm glad that they are returning with Halo Universe. I know not everyone's super fond of them. But again, this guy is a rare, which means that you won't run into him that much. But hopefully he'll still be able to you know, be army built without too much issue. And last but not least, we have our Suicide Grunt. And he is pretty much identical to the Grunt from the updated Aerial Ambush, except this time he has the CE mask in bronze. This bronze is brilliant. I want a Spartan in this color. Please, Mega, can you make that happen? And then I really like the purplish Grunt skin tone, which is, it's just a really unique color. And we don't, we've, all, we've only gotten it in that one Grunt before. He's got two... Uh, light blue plasma grenades. His arms are kind of the squishy kind. Uh, my only complaint with this figure is that the harness doesn't want to fit together all the way. It's either gapped here or gapped back here, and I don't really know why. Um, it, I guess it, I don't know. It is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. It's just a little odd. It feels like a quality control thing that they could have gotten better. But yeah, fairly simple figure. Not entirely sure why it's ultra rare. Um, I will take it though because Mega nailed the rest of them in terms of what rarity they are. This guy has a green stand. Yeah, he's fairly straightforward. Nothing entirely new, but it is really, really great to see the return of this color scheme because before the bronze and purple grunt was like the most rare new art grunt that you could get, and he's really expensive. So hopefully, this will allow people to get some nice bronze boys in their collection as well without spending you know fifty dollars for one grunt well there you have it that is halo universe blind bag series two mega i i've been saying this that the sets that are being released are really really well done mega is listening to us fans so well and with this blind bag series i feel like they've gone and done something that we didn't ask for necessarily. They kind of, I don't know. I don't really know how to properly put it into words. They've just rolled up things that they know everybody loves into one blind bag series and then arrange the rarities in such a way that the ones that are more sought after are common. I just feel like there was no money grabbing here. There was no, um, there was no just like reusing just, because they wanted to reuse and chop off a couple bucks in production that kind of thing it just feels really well thought out it feels like there was actual care put into planning this and that the people designing it actually really enjoyed what they were doing because this is just such a perfect lineup there's something for everybody here you know we've got the spartans we have the halo 5 4 5 spartan and the halo was there a halo 2 eod I don't know. This is Halo 3 as far as I know. And then we have the two grunt, actually three grunt type characters, you know, classic UNSC, Promethean, and Covenant all together. And then the Flood because everybody loves Flood. And Mega went out of their way to make the new colors. It's just really good. I could keep saying it's really good, but I am thoroughly impressed, thoroughly um, pleased with this there i only had very few like really few nitpicks the grunt harness not fitting together was kind of annoying um not entirely sure about the color choices for the two weapons here the eod and the warrior the tan railgun is a little odd and the concrete uh mauler looks a little weird and then the promethean's mouth is an odd choice but it's not one that I go, oh, that's terrible. It's just kind of like, for some people, it, they won't really like it. And some people, it's fine. I, I'm, I'm on the like, it's fine. It's just a little odd. So yeah, really, really happy. I, I, I'm a broken record at this point. So that's the bottom line. Absolutely love this series. I challenge any of you guys in the comments 
to tell me a better blind bag series. And don't just list off a blind bag series name. You got to tell me why it's better because in my mind, this is the number one blind bag series of all time right now. So yeah, if you if you think of a better blind bag series, tell me in the comment uh, in the comments below and explain why you think it's better. Because maybe I missed the blind bag series that you think is better uh, because I didn't start collecting at the time. So yeah, bottom line, A plus, uh, A plus plus, ten out of ten, eleven out of ten. Good job, Mega. Good job. That you you've nailed it right dead center once again. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time.